Hey guys, Brian Ernst with HelpSellMyRV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky. And I'm going to do a walk around around a 2013 Heartland Torque Toy Hauler Travel Trailer for sale by owner located in southern Indiana. You deal directly with the owner. I'm just going to show you a few features on this trailer. Ten foot cargo area with a power queen bed. Queen bed if you want to take it out. All you have to do is pull out the little cotter pins. There's four of them underneath. And you can take the whole bed out just in case you need to take take up the whole garage for your toys. This is the rubberized diamond plating uh, floor that they have in all their toy haulers. All your tie downs are actually bolted to the steel frame underneath so the tie downs are actually drilled through the, uh, the floor decking, uh, their wood floor decking and actually bolted to the uh, steel framing underneath. And this cargo area is ducted with AC. It's in excellent condition. You do have a bug screen. Bring that all the way down. I'll just leave that down. Thirty gallon fuel station with pump. Valves, the trailer is fully enclosed and heated underbelly, so all your holding tanks are protected from the elements. All the side walls are a lightweight aluminum frame uh, construction. It is a laminated sidewall, two inches thick. Thirty amp service. Outside shower. Trailer is uh, generator prepped. And this trailer does have the black tank sewer flush system to flush out your toilet tank so you don't have to drag a hose inside and stick it down in the toilet. You just hook it up right here flush out your tank diamond plate power hitch jack
power awning. six gallon gas electric water heater a DSI direct spark ignition all you have to do is flip the switch on inside and it ignites you do have the outside uh, marine style speakers fifteen inch steel or alloy wheels Fully enclosed heated underbelly, and this is uh, the thermal package that they offer on, I think, most of them. The weight. Dry weight. That's what it weighs, totally empty. Two inch flat screen TV. How did the dogs get to the woman? Well, that, that's the question. Listen, I, I, we had dogs when I was a kid, and you understand sometimes dogs get out of the house. You got a kid, let them out, and sometimes it happens. But you're taking that chance when you choose to raise a dog that is that you have raised to be an attack dog or, or attack dog or protective dog of some kind. That's, that's, you made that choice. I agree. And you get out of the house, and God forbid something bad happens. I just don't think you can say I should be on the hook for that. You raised the dog to be that. Way. Oven's never been I used. Would. So I, I feel badly that the guy's going to go away for 24 years. I mean, it ruins his life. Yes, it does. But it ruins hers. That's true. She's dead. That's very, very true, Tim. Thank you for the call. I appreciate it. It's going to be a terrible woman. Man, can you imagine the fright? Like, how panicked and awful that is to be attacked by four dogs. I can't imagine. Uh, Karen, welcome. You're on 84 WHAS. Good morning to you, Karen. Hi. Hi, what do you think? I think uh, he should be responsible. Uh, I'll attack uh, my dog and uh, the dog that no one uh, would suspect. This dog was CD dead. player, was MP3 capability. Uh, uh, it's taught by this guy I believe DVD. I have to check with the owner. And I asked, does the dog bite? It's coming towards me. He said, oh, no, no, no. This does have the large 15,000 BTU AC unit. And it's all ducted all the way through. In the garage area, living room area, and, of course, the bedroom. And he hooked to a 
Monitor panel, water pump, water heater, electric and gas, battery, fresh tank, empty, toilet tank, somewhat empty, and uh, the galley tank and probably the shower and bathroom tank. And it is generator prepped. All you need to do is get a generator installed and it's already set up for it. Mm -hmm. you decide you want uh, one. But they're, they're like part of the family. Right, they're, they're absolutely part of the family, and, and, and I, I understand that. Again, I, I love dogs. I grew up with them. I, I get it. Thank you for sharing your story. Um, you know, so it's not necessarily... And listen, that guy, when, when she had that encounter with that guy, I, I firmly believe that that dog had probably never gone after anybody before. But there was something about her... Foot flesh porcelain toilet. And as a dog, you don't know, unfortunately, until you're in that position. And that's the scary part of it. That's the really scary part, especially with all the just society. I had a bit by a dog in Virginia. Same thing as, the same thing as what she was just talking about. I, I you know, put my hand to the guy first. Does the dog bite? No, friendly dog. Put my hand down, open. Um, well, hit me. And I was like, ah! Oh. And of course, my husband thought it was hilarious. Um, because he saw me ask that I have to pet dogs when I see them. <laughs> really? But only you. Because I asked and the guy's like, I'm so sorry. I make a big deal out of it. I just asked if he had a shot. He said yes, and we you know, cleaned it up, and that was that. Um, but I, I just think sometimes it just happens. They're animals. It, it just happens. Let's go to Robert. Robert, welcome. You're on 84 WHA. Good morning to you. Hey, how you doing? Good, thanks. Good. Uh, first of all, yeah, the, the, the gentleman with the four pistol should absolutely be held responsible over his dogs if he's not smart enough to realize the potential the characteristics of these animals then that's too bad for him he should have known mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned you're gotten bit the, the difference between a pit bull bite and a, a let's say a regular dog bite is, is there's a tremendous difference pit bulls have characteristics that most dogs don't have and if you don't know that, you, you shouldn't own one. Right, they don't let go. They don't let go. They hold there's on and they lie. There's a lot of things they do. And, and there's a lot of characteristics they have. And one, one caller gave the old excuse of, well, it's, it's how you raise them. No. You, you mentioned Dale Langer. If he would have had four poodles in his garage, this wouldn't have happened. He could have raised them the same way. He put four pit bulls in a garage. Bed lift. Didn't bring a tape measure with me. I'm about 5'11", and I have no problem uh, walking underneath this. And I'm standing straight up. Ventilation system. When you're traveling down the road so that the fuel fumes don't build up in the cargo area. They call it a cross ventilation system. If you're interested, uh, feel free to give the number a call on the listing and uh, good luck.